Welcome to another talk. Today we will talk about the PLC timers in S7 300 PLC. We were talking about S7 1200 PLC. We did a basic understanding stuff over there. So it's the time actually to change S7 from S7 1200 to S7 300 so that you can have a confidence if you know one PLC. It doesn't matter if you have different brand or different version of it it is not gonna matter for you so that kind of a confidence i'm gonna give you by changing a plc today we will practice with sm 300 plc we, with with another software that's semantic manager we haven't yet touched that so you will definitely gonna enjoy that so uh before diving into that detail uh i'm gonna tell you one thing that why we need actually the timer in in controls environment in process industry when you want some action not happen immediately when some abnormal condition happen rather you put an wait over there you want to start some cooling process or heating cycle for specific duration and you want to repeat it itself like that so you can use the timer over there if you if something happen abnormal in the process you want you don't want to actually sound an alarm immediately or rather you put a delay over there like if it is actually consistent for specified duration let's say 10 second or 2 second or 3 second then you should get an alarm it should not be like that that you get something for a second only and your alarm starts sounding all over in the industrial environments so that's the reason we use actually timer there are a lot of other applications where we can use a timer and we will definitely get into that areas later on we will apply that in different projects but in general we have a main timer we have iec timer and user defined timers in s7 300 semantic manager software are in s7 300 plc are in s7 series of the plc from siemens so what is the main timer and what is aec timer and what is user defined timer main timers are like we do have a pulse timer we do have on delay timer off delay timers that can be found in s7 300 plc software i will show you where exactly we can find a main timer then we have ic timer that's found in standard library of uh, siemens plc and software that's like in this case matic manager i will show you exactly where you can find it and there are some application where you have to kind of write a custom uh, timer a script that you can write in user defined timers okay so that's the basic introduction without wasting any time let's go to the practical part of today's session so we have already opened semantic manager and we will just click on ob1 right over here and it will open up a window where we can actually write in the program so uh, it's already coming up and then i will show you exactly where we can find the timers there so you can see here uh, we do have uh, converters comparators build logics as same as you know like we we cover in the 7 1200 semantic manager same stuff just a little bit difference and here we have a timers so this is the timers that we can find it over here and then we have a timers iec timers that i discussed these are in standard library options uh, here and then system function block so then we have sp5 and 4 here you can use that so these are IEC timers that I talked to you before and they are third type of the timers that you can use custom I, I, I talked to you about that so in on delay timer uh, let's talk about first on delay timer we have this on delay timer so, and you can name it by T1 I will show you the functionality of it you will understand in a much better way T1 name you can name it and syntax right in here is s5 
t number of time and how much time you want like if in the case you want two second time huh? then it will be 2 s so and then you can set it with input i 0, 0. and at the output you can say anything let's see q, q 0, point 0 okay so that's t on timer what this timer is gonna do here it is gonna give us an output after the delay of two seconds and we will press i 0.0, 0. if i 0. 0.0 is high for two seconds then it will give us an output let's start the simulation of it so here we go we come here we turn on the simulator so, so simulator is already open up and we got ob1 here and we can actually download it this program from here just click download from here it's already in there now in simulator is downloaded there so turn on the watch and see the magic how timer this timer works so if I will run it and if I will run it then I can see it from here also so if I will press I 0, 0.0 this timer will start you see it will start after two seconds it is gonna give us an output see and I will press I 0, 0.0 timer will start after two seconds it is going to give us output so this is on delay timer so then there is another type of the timer that's off delay timer cover on delay timer and now we will cover off delay timer so i just taken an off delay timer from here and i just bring in here so what we will do here we will just name it t for example 2 and s 5 t number sign how many time how much time you need for for example 5 second okay so 5 second and then that's it let's now uh, try to download and simulate the same stuff mm, i'm gonna download it so it's downloaded and i will just try to run and watch from here and we'll, we'll we'll try to look at when i press i 0.0 so we we got a output so that means when we like for for example if our output was high and it goes to the low condition like due to any reason we are not able to get that input so it will wait for five seconds to uh, get the output to off. You can see here when I re I'm going to re remove that I 0.0 from here. So when I will remove it, start counting up. When five seconds will reach, it will turn off that output. That's it about off delay timer. So hope you like today's video. If you want to see more content on that, for sure later on next videos we will actually use that timers in, in the still stuff so for but for today uh, we have that's it and don't forget to subscribe this channel and share this opportunity with your friends